Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. If this is the first time that you're here, welcome to our channel. Um, so today's gonna be a little bit different. It's not gonna be a vlog, but it's gonna be a uh, five exercises to improve your speed and power. I'm shooting this during kind of the quarantine COVID shutdown. So this is actually a perfect time that you can incorporate these exercises into your program because you might not be able to get into the gym or you might not have equipment. Um, so you can really do these anywhere. You need a tiny little bit of space for one of the exercises, but yeah, all you really need is like a chair or box. All right, so all of these exercises are classified as plyometrics. Um, I think you could really call any exercise plyometrics if you kind of take the weight away and just do it as fast as you can. Um, so plyometrics are a way of adding speed, power, explosiveness, into your workouts. Um, so you kind of want to do these two to three times a week. Um, you want to have a good rest period in between. So like 24 to 48 hours in between each workout that you do um, because you want these to be quality over quantity um, because you just want to add really explosive power and you want to be rested. So all of these exercises, you're going to do two to three sets um, 10 to 12 reps. You can do a little bit more. If you're more experienced, um, you can do a little bit less. If you're less experienced, and yeah, so let's get into it. So before we get into the first exercise, you wanna get a good warm up in. Um, so you can jog, uh, do a little bit of stretching, foam rolling, um, just kind of getting your body ready for the movements because you're gonna be trying to do these as fast and as aggressive as you can, so you don't wanna hurt yourself. So get a good warm up in, like high knees, running, jogging, yeah. Um, so after you get all the warm up done, you got like a little bit of a sweat going on, let's get into the first exercise. So the first exercise is gonna be a box squat to jump. Um, so what you're gonna be focusing on in this one is just trying to produce as much power through your feet as you can. So Caroline is gonna be sitting on the box She's going to lift her feet up just a little bit to take off that weight and then just drive into the ground as hard as you can. And we're going for height on this one. So just really try to flex through the quads, the glutes, the calves, and just get that triple extension through the ankles, knees, and hips. So in between each set, take about a minute to two minutes rest. Um, again, you want to actually let yourself recover um, because you're going for quality, not quantity. All right, the next exercise is going to be a depth jump for distance. Um, so depth jump for distance is just a simple exercise that you drop off of a box. You don't want to go too, too high. There's been studies to show that really going super high, there's no benefit than just going off a lower box. So we just have this box here. So she's going to drop down. Um, and then you're gonna try to rebound off the ground as fast as you can and go for distance as far as you can. So exercises like this kind of work on the stretch shortening cycle. So that just means you're lengthening the muscle. So when you're landing, your calves, your quads are lengthening and then you're trying to shorten them as quickly as possible. So it's just teaching those motor units just to be able to fire as fast as they can because even a 1% difference can make a huge change in like a distance run or a sprint or playing basketball, trying to jump higher or just kind of running in general. So this is a great exercise to work on all of that explosiveness. So the next exercise is gonna be a depth jump to a split squat. So this exercise is a little bit different. You're not actually going to be jumping off the ground. You're gonna be trying to stick it. So this exercise really works on being more stiff, which you can say sounds bad, but it's, stiff as in your muscles are able to just fully contract and slow you down and just be more rigid. So this one, you're gonna drop off a box. It doesn't have to be super high and you're gonna land in a split squat and you're gonna wanna kind of cushion yourself so it's not just like a hard stick with a straight leg. So this trains your brain to be able to turn on those muscles and be able to stop yourself and be more rigid kind of at the board or if you're jumping for basketball or just stopping on a dime. It's training your muscles just to like be able to cushion that and be able to just stop your body. So before we get to the next exercise, if you guys are liking those first couple exercises, just scroll down, hit subscribe, like this video, and yeah, so 
on to the next one. All right, and the next exercise is gonna be a hip drive to feet jump. That's the best way I can describe it. It's a long title. So we're gonna start on our knees with our feet tucked under us, and then we're gonna jump onto our feet into a low squat position, and then jump directly up. So it's kind of like the box squat to jump, but first we have to get into that position and then we're gonna be a little bit lower and then have to produce all that force to get you off the ground. So what you're gonna be thinking is driving through the hips on the first phase or you won't be able to get onto your feet. And then right when you hit, again, produce as much power as you can. This exercise is definitely more tiring, so you're gonna want a little bit more rest after this. So you're gonna to wanna to use like a one to two rest ratio. So if the exercise takes like a minute, take two minutes. If the exercise takes a little bit longer, then double it and take that rest because it is a little bit longer of a movement. And the final exercise is something that Caroline uses a lot and a lot of track and field athletes use. It's just a simple bound. Um, so this one, you're gonna need a little bit more space so you can think about a bound as an exaggerated run. So you're just gonna wanna produce as much force into the ground directly under you, push through your hips. So we try to film Caroline doing single arm, um, which most people do, uh, but it just looks a little bit too awkward for her because she uses double arms. So you can use double arms, you can use single arms. Um, the focus is more about your hip position, your knee position, kind of hitting your feet directly underneath your hips and really pushing through. Think about switching your legs and think about pushing, producing as much force as you can. So this exercise is a little bit different. So you could probably go for like 30 meters, maybe do two or three reps of them and then rest again. You want a ample amount of rest because you're looking for that force production and you want recovery in between those. All right, and that's it. I hope you guys liked the video. And like I said before, if you guys like the video, just scroll down, hit that subscribe button. If you guys have questions, comment below. And yeah, let us know if this helps you uh, obtain your goal. Um, if you're trying to PB in a lift or if you're trying to PB in a event, uh, let us know how it went. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Talk about